Today we're heading to an area in Corsica called um, the Aguil de Bavella and we're just on our way up there now and we've just stopped off because we've been offered our first view of the mountain so just check this out. Not bad. So um, what I've got set up here, I've got, um, I've got the camera with uh, the 24-105mm lens on um, and I'm actually zooming in, for the time being I'm actually cutting out the river in the foreground here and just zooming in to, uh, what are we on, we're on, yeah we're on about 100 mils here so it's quite a telephoto shot um, and what I wanted with this image was just to kind of have the mountains um, as the main feature just with the trees in the foreground. Um, so we're at ISO 100, F13, um, and bracketing the shots as well. Um, I had thought this would be a black and white image, um, but I'll see when I get home and do some post-processing as to whether or not um, I want to do the uh, user colour version as well. So we've decided to pop down to the river and try and get another shot from this location. Um, I'm still just blown away by how amazing it is. Um, I've got the camera down low and um, I framed up a shot with this rock in the foreground. It reminds me a little bit of a photo I took a while ago in Acadia National Park actually with a rock in the foreground and a mountain in the back. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I love this place, it's fantastic. Um, what I've opted for, we've got the polarizer um, on there as well, which is just to take the surface glare off the water. Um, and that's working really nicely here. Um, and I've also put a four-stop solid ND um, filter on there as well, which I'm hoping is just going to increase the exposure time slightly and just maybe just blur out that movement of the river slightly. Um, I didn't want to go too far with that, so I think a four-stop on its own is going to be sufficient. Um, but I'll go ahead and take the photo um, and we'll see how it turns out. So we stopped off at this viewpoint here um, of this uh, range which I believe is called the Trou de la Bonne. Um, I'll put my name up on the screen as well just because in case my, my French pronunciation is, is a little out. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. Um, what I've gone for with this shot is a panoramic um, and I've zoomed in. Um, we're currently at about 70 mils. Um, so I have zoomed in quite far, so I'd, I wanted to cut out all of this foreground and just have the mountain range itself. And we've just been waiting for the light to come out um, when there's a little bit of a gap in the clouds just to try and um, highlight these rocks with a, a, few, a few sort of light highlights. Um, yeah, it's just starting to, to, to come through now with the light hitting those rocks. So I'm going to go ahead and take the photo now. Um, I reckon this is going to be a black and white image um, at this time of day. Um, but we may well try and come back here um, to this spot later on as well and see if we can get another image in colour with a bit more colour in the sky. Well, how about this for a view, eh? Absolutely amazing. So our original plan had actually been to come here and take a few photos um, before then heading off to another location. But actually, I think because this location is just so incredible, what we're going to do is wait here until um, kind of a golden hour, and hopefully we'll get um, some really beautiful light on these mountains here um, and then hopefully we'll still have time to head off to a second location and maybe we'll be able to catch an image there in the blue hour. We'll see how we get on anyway.
Well, we just have the most amazing light coming down through the valley over there. It was absolutely stunning. It was a bit of a frantic dash because I was actually in the middle of doing a panoramic of this scene. And now we've got great light here too, so I'm going to dash off and do another photo in a minute. But, um, but yeah, so happy with that image. A polarizer, that's about it. F13, ISO 100. Um, I can't remember what the shutter speed was. But, um, yeah, brilliant. Well, um, this location has just completely blown me away. I'm so happy with some of the images we've managed to get from here. Um, I think now, though, it's time probably to head on to our last location here in the uh, Agrio de Bavella. Um, and, um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get down there before um, we lose too much of the great light. So, um, yep, yeah, we're going to pack up now, get back to the car and head down there. So we've now reached our final location for this trip. Um, and when I'd done my planning, um, I found a great spot which I wanted to head to, which was actually um, over in that direction, taking a shot that way, where there's a range of, of mountains. Um, unfortunately, as you can see, the clouds are completely obscuring those mountains behind me. It doesn't look like those clouds are going to clear. Um, so I'm having to improvise a little bit. So rather than going on the walk, which I had hoped to do, um, we've actually just, I've actually just moved a little way off from where the car was parked um, and come in the opposite direction and um, some of these mountains, which are the same ones which I was photographing earlier, um, these ones are actually still in the light, so um, I think I should be able to find some good compositions here. Um, so I'll see if I can get a few, a few images and then we'll probably call it a day after that. see the peak over there is actually just starting to catch the light and I'm hoping that that light is going to move over to the right hand side and light up this mountain here as well. Um, if it does, I think that this could make quite a nice image. Just spinning the camera around um, up towards these peaks here, I think there's quite a nice composition going on here. Um, obviously the sun's now going behind that mountain, so it's just illuminating those clouds really nicely. Um, I've gone for both a portrait and a landscape composition of this scene. Um, I think they both have their merits, um, but yeah, I think it works okay. Um, it's just a case of just trying to obviously work with the weather because, you know, in this area I had an, a, an image in mind as to what I wanted to take when I got here. Um, and also I can't now do that, but um, just working with the light and trying to pick out compositions based on the conditions that you're faced with. This place is bowing out in style. Just check out this scene in front of me. It is absolutely breathtaking. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take some panoramics of these hills, just because I love the layers that we're getting as they're disappearing into the mist and the pinks in the sky. It's just unbelievably beautiful. Oh my word, it is stunning. I'm 
and just when I thought it couldn't get any better, the Agrilla Favela showed themselves. Well, this trip has been one of, if not the most rewarding photography trip I think I've ever been on. It has been absolutely amazing. This location here in Corsica has just exceeded all of my expectations. It's just utterly stunning. It's just kept giving and giving and giving. It's amazing. Um, anyway, <laughs> I've had a great time. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, if you have any comments, then uh, do feel free to leave them below. Please let me know what you think of the images. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, yeah, do consider giving the video a thumbs up as well if you did like it. And if you haven't subscribed, then do consider subscribing. Anyway, so we will see you next time. Take care.